Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to Artistic Intention Studio. Um, I have a request for a painting with um, like grays and the green, which I've never done before. Uh, I haven't really used that palette before, so um, I thought I'd use this canvas that uh, has some really cool stuff going on up here, but I tried to fix that down there and I ended up swiping it off so many times that it just got muddy and so I just said forget about it. Yeah, so. Um, I'm looking for my silicone. I wanted to put some silicone in this one. So I haven't done a flip cup in a while. So again, I thought, why not? I don't know why some silicone in it. Apparently, my silicone fell off the table. That's why I couldn't find it. So now there's dog hair on it. <laughs> um, trying to bounce back after Friday night's sad experience. So I'm just going to layer some paint in this cup. I'm going to use black, white, and I mixed up some like Kelly Green, True Green. I'm, I don't want to use a whole bunch of it because it's I do kind of want to some accents of it. Um, and I thought I'd do just just a little bit of silver because why not? And then I've got like a turquoise green or a teal that I'm gonna put in with it. Thought it might kind of darken that. bright green a little bit. I don't know, I'm worried about it being, I don't know, we'll just see. I'm just going to layer this up quite a bit. Just mix these, so hopefully they'll do okay for me. two-year-old German Shepherd late Friday night decided to rocket across the street chasing a kitty cat. I guess it was dark. I, I assume that's what she was chasing. And she's not supposed to be going that direction at all. Things happen, I guess. And she didn't make it. She actually is my husband's dog. Um, yeah, but he and I are separated. He moved to an apartment and A lot of black. It's not I'm worried about it. <laughs> it's pretty dark. I'm just gonna put a couple drops of silicone. One, two, three, four, five. Five's a good number. <laughs> Might be a little bit too much, but. much black. If so, we'll do another one. Looks 
looks pretty cool in the cup. Yeah. I'm worried because all that black is at the bottom. Oh well. So I'm going to put some white down. Cover this old painting. Give it a base. Put the lids on these. So I don't knock anything over. So Sheba was a, a big girl. She was close to 100 pounds. Unfortunately, I was out there and saw it happen. Very sad. But it was over quickly, so I guess that's one good thing. She didn't suffer too much. I still have my studio dog who's actually <laughs> clinging to me pretty much. She's in here right now. She sheds a lot so I don't usually let her hang out in the painting side. She's usually on the jewelry side where dog hair doesn't matter as much. But I'm not working with resin today. So it'll be okay. She is, I guess, she's supposed to be a lab and uh, shepherd mix. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but she's about 12, I think. So she knows to stay out of the road, obviously. She's pretty good. She, I can let her out and she stays around the house pretty much. She doesn't doesn't go out to the road, so that's good. And then my other pup. This is my sweetheart, Miss Fiona. If you watch my videos, you've seen <laughs> you've seen her in in some of them. She's in the house right now. Frenchy. She's the love of my life. Alright, so this cup's really full. This is gonna be a mess, I'm sure. But I'm just gonna flip it. We're gonna see what happens. One, two, three, flip. Okay, I made a huge mess. That's alright. So we're gonna spread it all out anyway. Looks like there's some pretty greens. Lots of cells already. Oh, I'm making such a mess. <laughs> this canvas is a little bouncy. I should have sprayed the back. If you spray the back of your canvas with water, it will tighten the canvas. I should have done that, but I did not. Oddly enough, not so much black anymore. Isn't that crazy? Got all worried for nothing. Now I don't know if there's enough black in it. <laughs> oh well. Alright, before I start tilting this and moving it around, I'm going to take the torch. I'm running out of fuel on my torch. I want to start. Pop some of these bubbles in here to make even more cells. And if I pop them before I move, 
that gives them the opportunity to really stretch out and become big cells. Yeah, so, there we go. Let's move this bad boy around. Let's see what happens. There's some really, really cool things going on. I haven't done one of these in a while. Fluid, really stretching. <laughs> Don't think I want any white negative space. Sometimes I like to leave it, but I want this to be a bit darker. This is a A man who's interested in this and I kind of feel like it might be more masculine if there's not so much white. Yeah. Well, I'm digging it so far. I don't know what he'll think. like somebody would like it. Just get this last corner over here. Alright. Okay. So basically got all the corners covered. Now I'm just kind of looking to see um, make sure I've got some interesting stuff going on in the center. I do believe I have. So now I'm just going to go and get all the edges. All the corners. Just dripped on my dress. Awesome. too big for my little painting area here. It's hard to get to this last side. Okay, baby. Alright. I'm digging it you guys think, but, yeah, get my hands cleaned up here and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, we are back. Swing around to this side. All right. Overall, picture here. Sorry about the glare. Not too bad. I'm going for a close-up here. Okay. There's lots of cells popping through. This is great big cells. Pretty crazy. There we go. Top right hand corner. Lots of fun stuff going on there. Look at those cells. Fun, fun, fun. I'm going across the top. Top left corner. And then on down the side. This one was fun. 
at that big cell right there. It's a big bubble. Really cool. And here in the center, there's some cool stuff going on. Pretty colors. So, I think this is successful. There's a really cool cell right there. Don't know what the client will think, but hey, there's more canvases and more paint. So, I'll try again if he doesn't like it. It's a cool painting anyway. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Keep those fur babies safe and away from the roads. That's my tip of the day. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Come back and see me again soon. Till next time, guys.